2016 Paratech, the science and technology hands-on creation contest for youth, has been held for decades. Contributed by Professor Han, the president of Taiwan Creativity Development Association, and his team to the promotion of STEM hands-on making contest for youth, which is important to discipline their creativity with problem-solving abilities. In attempting to enhance the interest of competition, 200 teams are not only from Taiwan Island, but also from overseas, such as Macau, Nanjing, and other cities of mainland China. By the way, special thanks to give several agencies support this event. For example, Taichung Educational Bureau, Ministry Education. The original intention of Paratech is to maintain the hands-on making spirit in technology courses. In the past, students practiced hands-on making activity to stimulate brain development and dexterity. Through upper limb motion training, fine muscle activities will subsequently trigger neural development. There are several studies that support this theory. The competition types of power tech. Power tech is sustained to 17th year from 1999. This year, we add a new style of competition called the KO Racing. The KO Racing contest includes four teams that are put together to compete speed at once. Two teams outperform will be counted the winners. However, before entering the KO Racing contest, Participants enter the initial relay race with three miniatures in competing by speed. The top 32 teams then enter KO Racing. Afterwards, the top eight teams win from KO Racing then enter the Tug of War contest. The enthusiasm of competition. Because it is hard to tell who will win in KO Racing, members of team and classmates cheer for their partners by yelling fight on enthusiastically. I think the uncertainty and anticipation both form up the atmosphere, as if we're having a Super Bowl right here. We are very pleased to have such an honorable success. Educational values of Power Tech Contest. Within Power Tech Contest, not only scientific, technological, engineering, and math knowledge can be learned implicitly, but also a wonderful platform for contestants to demonstrate their creativity of arts and form design. That is, students are encouraged to practice STEAM that will be benefited to future hands-on work, particularly some form design with cultural influences. Therefore, we incorporate art into STEM which transforms Paratech into one of the most recognized STEAM contests in the world. This year, the three-point shooter contest is split into two types, shooting king for junior high contestants and the shooting warrior for senior high contestants. In the past, all participants designed ping pong ball catapults or rubber guns to shoot the targets in the first round and create bulldozers to collect uniform sized balls in the second round. To enhance teamwork and add excitement to the contest, senior high students enter the second round with two teams competing at once. This year, junior high students are required to shoot ping pong balls in the first round and collect balls of two different sizes in the second round, whereas senior high students are required to shoot ping pong balls of two different sizes in the first round and collect balls of three different sizes in the second round. In addition to the shooting mechanism design, 
Participants are required to count the distance and apply the parabolic prediction and other scientific knowledge to ensure the power of winning. That is, steam can be learned via making shooting king and shooting warrior. And all of the challenges during the competition will encourage students to adjust the function of two types of ball shooting by sustaining improvement via problem solving. In brief, Paratech fulfills the concept of STEAM education. For the Essence Science, participants apply various scientific methods while building the miniatures with functions such as levers and parabolic motion. For the T in technology, participants demonstrate their knowledge on assembling motors and gearboxes, as well as sawing fiberboards. For the E in engineering, participants combine the mechanic system with the electronic system. For the A in art, participants express aesthetic values, including colors and symmetry. For the M in math, participants practice the use of recognition of quantities, graph construction, and interpretation to find the most suitable design. In conclusion, Paratech requires participants to make crafts in the morning and compete in the afternoon, which allows students to practice hands-on making skills and enjoy the whole competing process without parents' intervention.